Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. If you're looking to open a restaurant, you want to know as much local information as you can about the particular market that you're going to be going into. And this video shows you how to find that information in Simply Map. So here you go. So you can use Simply Map as an example here to visually see, in this case, how many people uh, in by county or percentage by county eat uh, at uh, Applebee's one to two times. Uh, in the last 30 days so good way to do to kind of compare your market to other markets around around you you can also use simply map to look at uh, comparison reports in this case restaurant index food services index or how much to spend on food services number of, of uh, restaurants in an area uh, who likes to eat out at uh, the particular restaurant or a particular restaurant or times per per month um, comparing to multiple cities so this video is going to show you how to do that in simply map when you first get to Simply Map, you're going to be encouraged to create an account. I definitely recommend doing so. Just use your Ohio email address and whatever password you want to when you create your account um, because it allows you to actually save your information uh, uh, for um, later use because you're going to be doing some pretty complicated searching in here, so it's nice to actually save your information for later. When you first log in, you may be presented with a screen that looks like this that encourages you to uh, launch the map wizard or do a standard report. I'm actually going to do a report first. So we're going to click on standard report here. And we can do this launch standard report wizard here if we want to. I'm going to click there. It's going to ask us to choose location first. I'll do locations here. Uh, I'm going to do uh, cities. And in this case, I'm going to look for um, uh, West Virginia. And then I'll go ahead and look for Parkersburg and I will use that one and then do use this location. It's going to ask me for variables next. So I click on variables and then we can go down and actually look by different areas here. So for example uh, here is uh, retail sales. So we do go into retail sales and look at 2010 geographies here. Here is food services. And if we want that one uh, we just click on it and it actually puts it in there for us there and says congratulations you created a report. Fantastic. But that's not all I want. I want to go back and click on variables here and let's look for things like sales potential. And we'll do 2010 geographies here. Here is the restaurant index. If you want to know information about that restaurant index, you can click on view metadata and it will tell you what kind of information there. So a higher value indicates more than average dining opportunities near the geography. So we'll close there and then do uh, use this variable. Okay, and it adds it to our list there. We can go under, for example, business counts. Uh, 2010 geographies here and we're going to look under accommodations and food services here and here is full service restaurants and I want number of businesses and uh, we will use this variable there alright so all kinds of different things you can look at there now let's say for example you want to find out information about people who eat at a particular type of restaurant that information is found in the Simmons local information here so we'll click on Simmons local and then there's a section down here for dining and here is a family restaurants and steakhouses and there's all kinds of data you can look at in here I'm actually going to look at things like um, let's look at family restaurants number of times visited in the last 30 days if we do that uh, click there over on the right hand side we'll get some more information once it loads so here we have information on uh, where people eat and number of times they've eaten there okay so if we're looking at Parkersburg we probably don't want to do Bennigan's because I don't believe there's a Bennigan's there okay but you can do things like Applebee's uh, so here is um, I typically like to do percentages okay percent who have eaten one to two times at Applebee's so we'll use this variable here and the reason I like to do that because we're comparing Parkersburg to Athens to Columbus for example uh, numbers is always going to be larger in the larger cities there so we'll use the small we'll use the percentages so we get information from uh, a variety of areas there so we have Applebee's there for example if we want to go down and say uh, let's look for uh, there's Bob Evans uh, let's see use this variable here and that's actually uh, let's do the percentage here so uh, percent dining three or four times in the last um, 30 days we'll use that variable there just to kind of give you an idea as far as what we're looking at and then we can close that and here we have uh, it'll load our data for us here so we got a restaurant index uh, the number amount spent on food services uh, comparing Parkersburg, West Virginia to the US as a to as a whole so let's say for example we want to look at um, other cities by comparison so let's say for example you're going to start a new restaurant in Parkersburg and you happen to know there is the same restaurant in Columbus and Athens you're going to start or the same kind of restaurant so what you can do is to compare those two areas 
is go into locations again and this time we'll do uh, cities we'll do select a state and we will do Ohio and in this case uh, once it loads uh, we can choose uh, just search by Athens use this location and we can go in and again uh, Columbus grab Columbus there use this location and then what we'll have here is it'll actually give us a list uh, comparing Parkersburg to Athens to Columbus uh, to the US once it loads here and if you want to you can go under uh, actions here uh, download the table as a CSV or uh, Excel file if you want to to manip manipulate it that way so there's all kinds of great data to be had here uh, when looking at uh, a local market. Lots of information here, and this is just, a, it's just the tip of the iceberg uh, to kind of show you how this kind of thing uh, works here. If you like, if you can't find what you're looking for in browsing, you can actually go under search and search for variables by keyword there. It'll give you inf more information that you can look for that way. Likewise, if you wanted to, d to draw a map uh, of your area for restaurant information or things like that, you can once again go and launch your map wizard. Uh, we can click on variables here. Uh, we can actually go in and uh, choose our variables here. If you want to, actually, you can actually close out of this. And since we've already used some variables, if we click on recent here, and we can go in and say, let's look at percent who have eaten at a Bob Evans three to four times um, in 2010. Uh, excuse me, in the last 30 days. Excuse me. So we'll use this variable here. And uh, what this is going to give us, if we close this out, it's actually going to center on Harlan, Iowa there. So what we can actually do is actually change locations, and let's go in and we can look at uh, let's look at cities again, and let's look at uh, West Virginia, and then we will load uh, Parkersburg, and it will go in and actually center on Parkersburg, West Virginia for us. Now it may get a little bit close for us, so what we can actually do is zoom out if you want to. Uh, right now we are zoomed in on uh, census tracts within Parkersburg, West Virginia. So a good way to kind of figure out where you might want to select, uh, choose a restaurant based upon the percentage of people who have eaten uh, in a particular location um, in, the, in the last 30 days there. If you zoom out, you can actually get uh, county level data and uh, zoom further out, you can get city and uh, state data as well. If you don't know your Southeast Ohio and, and West Virginia geography very well, you want to go up under display options, you can actually tell it to label uh, zip codes, or in this case we're looking at zip codes. Let's change this to actually counties. That would be better to look at. Once it refreshes there, now you can go under display options and label counties, and that gives you an idea. So here we're comparing Wood County, which is in West Virginia where Parkersburg is, to Athens, to Meigs, uh, things like that. And we can zoom out further if we want to to get more information that way. Uh, this, inf this map can actually be saved if you want to um, as a PDF or GIF image. You can also go down and edit the legend if you don't like this particular color. Uh, you can change the, the information that way. So that's a quick overview of how to use um, Simply Map. A little bit long video. My apologies there, but it's a pretty complicated database at times. But uh, really good information if you're looking to analyze a local market for, in this case, looking at setting up a restaurant. Hopefully this video helped you with your research. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and best of luck with your research.